Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. I hope uh, for this lesson that you've had a chance to watch the previous one on making your own vocal chain because what we're going to talk about today is the idea of bussing audio in Soundtrap. Now, there is no actual bus or aux track feature in Soundtrap, at least not that I know of at this point. So I uh, want to talk about how you would use this idea and actually be able to achieve results that are similar to busing using Soundtrap. So here we go. This is our last project that we were working on. Uh, we have a vocal chain here with a vocal that a student recorded um, in our studio. And we've done some filtering and some EQing, some compressing, and we've added a little bit of reverb. Well, the reverb is the problem because reverb is typically something that if I was working in Logic or another DAW would be sent to an aux track where the reverb processing would be done. Well, there's no way to route information to an aux track. So I'm just going to delete the reverb off of this track. Now, I'm pretty happy at this point with where my compressors and filters are set, and maybe you have some other effects um, that are being used up here, but um, maybe you don't. So uh, I'm going to call this a done project. So the first thing I need to do if I'm going to bus is actually export this track individually. So I'm not going to export the whole project, even though at this point this track is really the entire project. Um, but hopefully you would have drums and other things uh, going along with you here. So I'm going to export just this track. And that's going to make a mix of just this using the EQ and the compression as it was set. And then um, it's going to dump it down here in my download folder in um, Chrome, which is just down in the corner. And all I'm going to do is take and drag that right back into the project. And you're like, what in the world? Well, this is now my bust track, right? I don't have to have it at the same volume, but I can now apply effects to this track as if it had been sent across as a bus. It's not exactly the same, but it's a pretty close concept. So the compression has been applied, and um, we now want to be able to add the reverb to just this track. Well, we can make this one a really thick reverb sound, right? Super heavy reverb. Oh, now I'm, wearing your I'm actually going to solo this for just a second. Sweater. I know I won't be and then another thing we would probably do if we were <coughs> bussing this in is actually apply some uh, filters up. And yeah, we're going to take it away some significant sound here but get rid of some of the high ring and the low ring that comes out of the reverb now you might not think that sounds exactly right but now our goal is to blend these two sounds together right i keep on telling myself that i'm gonna be better I keep on selling myself, now I'm wearing your sweater, I know, I... So like you would have your bus volume option, now you're taking the chance to actually adjust that bus volume on the new um, thing. So you write, write this as vocal chain reverb bus. Now, that's not the only thing you could bus. You could consider bussing uh, maybe some saturation in. Now, does Soundtrap offer specific saturation? No, but this is where you have to get creative as an audio engineer. So you can actually use one of these distortion features. Turn the distortion feature down a little bit. I would suggest for a vocal especially, you turn it all the way up. Now here's what that soloed sound would come out like. I won't be a good goal setter. I know I won't get a big goal. So there's some uh, saturation. And again, now we can come in and rename this vocal chain saturation bus so we remember what, what the point is and just blend this in to the vocal sound. I keep 
on telling myself that I'm gonna be better. I keep on selling myself. Now I'm wearing your sweater. I know I won't be a good goal setter. I know I won't get a big gold letter. I keep on telling myself that if I try harder, I keep on telling myself that I'm gonna be better. I keep on selling myself. So in this, we've now been able to bus in reverb, keep that clean audio there. So we've not lost the clean punchiness of the original audio. We've added reverb, we've added saturation, and we've got a pretty decent sounding vocal mix, but it took us three tracks to be able to do it. So um, maybe this is something that interests you. Maybe it's not. But uh, this is uh, something that you would definitely be doing in Pro Tools or Logic or Ableton, um, those types of things. So check it out. Try it. See if you like your vocals um, using this bust reverb idea. It doesn't have to just be vocals either. You can certainly do it with all sorts of instruments and different things um, like that. So if you found this helpful, hit the like and subscribe button if you don't mind. Have a great day.